we've completed week two. We looked at, um, this week we looked at uh, several different pieces. We had capo, talking about capos, talking about uh, chord positioning before that and where the chord positions are in the key of D, then capos, then the position chart, and then talking about rock intervals. And we put all that together on the chord drills um, to come to the goals on week two, page 16. First thing is we want to become familiar with your capo. So review over the pages on capos to make sure you understand what's being accomplished. Practice playing in the key of D on the different uh, capoed frets, playing the different positions, making a D chord with the new root note for each position. See how the key is the same, but the different capo placements and chord positions make for a little variety um, when we're playing in the key of D. Number two goal is to play chord drill number one with the strum pattern given. This drill is having you play the one, four, five, and minor six chords in the key of D. If you have a capo, which hopefully you do, we want you to practice playing the same chords, but with the key, um, with the key still D, now we're moving it to the C position with the capo in the second fret. So practice both of those positions with the one, four, five, and minor six chords, playing both in the position, the D position that's open on the first, the first position, or C that's open on the third position, or that's capoed on to the third position. So we'll capo the second fret and play the third position for the C. Then number three goal is to play chord drills two through four. Um, they want to be we want to play them in the sixteenth note strum pattern with the uh, rock intervals. Um, these are of course first and fifth notes in a in a major scale, so they're they're fifths um, and they're f five notes apart. So if you're playing a G note, it's a D is the fifth note. If you're playing a C, it's a G, and that's five notes apart from each other. Um, and that's what that basically means is we're practicing. We're going to practice these chords, both staccato as well as full strums. So I didn't, I didn't actually work on that with you, uh, the staccato, but we'll know staccato from the last uh, book where we're going to play staccato like this. Staccato is a very common rock idea. So practice those with uh, regular full strumming and then staccato, so you can get the idea. That's gonna help you with control and, um, and accuracy on playing the, the strings that you want to play as opposed to um, being a little bit more um, uh, loose on the strum pattern. We wanna start working on the control um, that will come with playing these rock intervals, okay? So uh, those are the goals for week two. Um, continue to look at the chords that are, that are a week behind and make sure that you have that understood and basically the concept of um, the major two chord, playing that in a, in a scale. You can try another scale if you'd like and find a major two chord that you want to put into a different scale, whatever scale you want to um, figure out. And um, that'll be the end of week two. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time.